Hi there, this video describes the change management process in Primavera contract management. I'm going to select the demo project and progress a change. I'm going to start in the communication folder under RFIs. Specifically, I'm going to open up the RFI entitled Inappropriate Concrete Mix. Many times change management uh, is initiated as a result of a possible issue that's come up on a project. In this instance, an issue entitled Inappropriate Concrete Mix was identified. And in fact, if I click the Issues tab on the RFI record, I can see that this RFI is already linked to an issue called Inappropriate Concrete Mix. So while I'm on the RFI, I can actually initiate change management. If I go to Select an Action and select Initiate CM, a change management document will then be created and displayed. So here I am now in Change Management, and you'll notice on the de General tab of Change Management that that document has the same ID or same description as the RFI. Additionally, if I click on the Remarks tab, I'll notice that the question and the answer from the RFI will both be posted to the change management document on Remarks. If I go to the Details tab, I'll see a link back to that RFI. And if I go to Issues, I will see that that very same issue carried forward to the change management document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the Commitments tab. And my first step is to identify the other project participants that may be involved in this change and ask them to submit a quote for their scope of work. I'm going to click Add Multiple Estimates. I'll record who this request is from. In this instance, I'll select Steve Johnson from Acme General Contractors. And in the description box, I can request a quote or identify text or information that I would like to receive from the various folks that I'm going to select. I'll click Add Companies to select those companies from whom I would like to receive a quote. I'm going to select one company, Ace Mason. Notice I have an opportunity to deselect if I select it inappropriately. So right now, I'm going to select Ace Mason, and when I click Finish, an RFP has been sent to Ace Mason. When I look at this row with Ace Mason, I can see right now that we're in the estimated phase of this change management process with Ace Mason. I'm now going to record the quote that I received from Ace Mason, and that will advance from the estimated phase to the quoted phase. So I'll click the notepad to do so. And when I want to start the quoted phase, I'll click Start Quoted Phase. And Contract Management will open up the document that I selected to be appropriate to that stage in the change management workflow. In this instance, a change order request. I'm going to click Line Items because I need to document his quote. I can either add a lump sum line item, a unit price line item, or I can retrieve line items from the contract. So I'm going to select Copy from the Contract. I'll then see a list of line items on the contract, and I can select the ones that I want to include in this change process. Once I've either selected from the contract or added a new line item, I then need to document the price. I'm going to click on the notepad. That will bring up that line item's details. And in the lump sum amount, I'm just going to type $4,500 as the quote. If I'm using the cost worksheet, I would want to make sure that I distributed that amount to a legitimate cost code. I'll scroll down to the bottom, Save and Close. I'll save the change order request. Now I'm going to click the hyperlink to return to change management. So when I review Ace Mason's row on this commitments tab, I'll see that we have in fact progressed from the estimated phase to the quoted phase and a change order request document was created 
with $4,500 as the quote. As the general contractor, I may want to negotiate with Ace Mason to see if he can perform the work for a lower fee. That's just a matter, once again, of clicking the notebook, start the negotiated phase. At this point, we've elected to create a document called a proceed order to document the negotiation phases. To document the dollar amount, I'll click line items. Once again, edit. And I'm going to ask Ace Mason if they'll do this work for $4,300 versus 45. And again, making sure that I am distributing it to the appropriate cost code. And I'll save and close. Throughout this entire process, as contract management creates these various documents associated with the different workflow phases, each of those documents is also linked to the same issue that that original RFI was linked to. So that when all is said and done, that issue will contain a history of this change process. Once I've documented that quote, I'm going to save and I'm going to return back to change management and go to the commitments tab. So for Ace Mason I can see now we've advanced from the RFP through the quoted phase through the negotiated phase. At this point if Ace Mason agrees to the 4300 I'm now ready to go to the owner and pose the possible change to the owner. So what I'm going to do is click copy commitments to budget this button over here to the right. When I click there, I'll have a dialog box asking me which of the four workflow phases I would like to start with when I go to the owner. I'm going to say I want to start with the quoted phase. In other words, I'm skipping the estimated phase. And at that point, contract manager is going to create a proposed change order. I'm also going to uh, ask contract manager to apply a markup to the new document. So I'm ready to click OK. So contract management has now created a proposed change order to the customer. Notice on the general tab that the total cost is $5,160, not $4,300. So that's indicative that a markup has been added. If I go to the line items, I can see my line item is here with that $4,300 from Ace Mason. To view the markup details, I can click the Summary tab, select Markup for Changes, and I'll see all of those various markups displayed. In fact, I could edit the markups from this tab. I'm going to Save. So I've just viewed my proposed change order. I'm now going to return to change management and click the budget tab. So on the budget tab I can see the various different workflow phases that I am using to progress my change through the owner. If the owner comes back to me and says that's too much money, I want I think you can get this done for 5000, I might then be able to start the negotiated phase. If that's acceptable to the owner, then I can advance directly to the starting of the final phase and that's what I'm going to do. I'll click start the final phase I'll click OK and now I'm going to see my final change order with the owner for $5,160 so at this point, I need to be sure that this change order goes through the approval process. So if I click Review Status, I can then uh, record the fact that this change was approved. So I'm going to denote that my company, Acme General Contractors, approved this. And I'll record the date. And I'm going to uh, identify that Michael Stell with a customer also approved on this date. I can then click Approve and Save. That will mark this change as approved and will then make those dollars display on the Approved Budget Change Orders column on your cost worksheet. 
Additionally, notice that that change is linked to the same issue. I can easily print the change by clicking on the Print Preview button over here on the left. I could also load uh, from Select an Action and select one of the various other formats using my advanced print. But this would be a sample of how a possible change might appear. So I'm done with the owner side. The owner has approved those dollars and has issued a final change order to me. I need to circle back and issue the final change to the sub. So I'm going to go back to change management, return to change management, and I'm going to go to the commitments, and I'll go ahead and edit Ace Mason's record. And I will now start the final phase of the change between myself and Ace Mason. So at this point, I've created a change order to Ace Mason for 4300 and I probably would want to also go through the uh, final approval process here as well so that those dollar amounts would show up on approved commitment changes. So once again, I'll report the uh, dates that we approved this, both myself and Ace Mason, and I'll save. And again, I can come over to the print preview or to select an action, advanced print, and pick one of the formats for printing the change order. Let's circle back to change management. I've advanced through several phases, workflow phases. On the budget side, that's between me and my customer. I've advanced through various phases with Ace Mason. If I go to Documents by Phase, I can actually view and access all of the various documents created for both the commitment side of this process and the budget. Additionally, I can click Issues and see that that entire uh, set of items was linked to this issue. If I go back to my Control Center, and I expand the project information folder under my project and select issues. Actually going to open up the issue called inappropriate concrete mix. When I go to linked documents, I'll see all of those various documents associated with the change, including the original RFI. And I can actually access them from this window providing a very good audit trail as well as supporting documentation for everything associated with that change. This completes the change management process. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.